when a Forsyte was engaged, married, or born, the Forsytes were present. When a Forsyte died, but no Forsyte had as yet died. They did not die. Death being contrary to their principles, they took precautions against it. The instinctive precautions of highly vitalized persons who resent encroachments on their property. About the Forsytes, mingling that day with the crowd of other guests, there was a more than ordinarily groomed look, an alert, inquisitive assurance, a brilliant respectability, as though they were attired in defiance of something. The habitual sniff on the face of Soames' foresight had spread through their ranks. They were on their guard.'